episode, I'll be teaching you about these scenes and the scene graph, which allow you to add nodes and components and layouts to your uh, stages, your windows, right? So you can actually display stuff on your screen for the GUI. So this is going to be a short episode because it's not really um, that complex of a concept. It's a little confusing maybe if it's your first time learning it, but it's really simple. I'm just going to show you what you need to know to create a scene and then after that the next episodes are going to be focused on how to add stuff to that scene so that you can display stuff like buttons, uh, text, uh, pictures to the screen using a scene. Okay, So what is a scene first of all? A scene is basically just a um, thing that allows you to display stuff to your stage, right? It's basically um, the window or the, the whatever, anything on this thing is part of, is part of a scene, okay? And keep in mind that only one scene can be displayed on a, at a time on a stage. So this is the current scene of our application. You have all these different buttons here, everything like that. That's all part of one scene, okay? And these, I mean, each component of that scene are what's called, a com or components really, but they're also called nodes because it's kind of like a hierarchy. And I'll be explaining that in a minute, but don't worry. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So to create a stage, or first we need to create our stage so I can show you how to make a scene, right? So we need to, let's give it a title, so stage.setTitle, and we'll call it episode 4 stages, there we go, because we're on episode 4 I believe, and then stage.setWidth, let's set the width of our stage, 400, and then we're going to do it by 500, so for 500 for the height, set height, uh, 500, just like that, and then finally if we want this to ever show up we need to do stage.show. And then everything in between that will just, you know, add some stuff, okay? But first, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. We should get a 400 by 500 stage here that has a title of episode 4 stages. Just give it a second. Alright, here we go. We got a stage here. Um, it's centered perfectly in the middle of the screen. That's kind of cool. And there we go. It says um, episode 4 stages, so it has everything we want and looks like it's 400 by 500 okay so that's exactly what we want but if now we want to put stuff inside of the stage if we want to actually display stuff in our GUI we need to use what's called a scene okay so to create a scene what we need to do is simply make a scene so obviously <laughs> obviously so scene scene one and then make sure you import scene by the way from JavaFX so scene scene one is equal to new scene okay and we need one parameter here well, there's different, you know, um, overrided parameters here, but um, our constructors. But the first one's the most simple one, the one that we really need. It's just a parent parent, and it says not null. So that's kind of weird. What does that even mean? And what you need to hear, what you need to have here is what's called a roots node or a parent node, which is going to be the like the the most top level thing that the scene is connected to. Okay, so usually what you want here is what's called a layout manager, which is going to control the layout or how components are displayed in your uh, your stage or your scene, right? Okay, so what you want to do here is usually have a layout manager, like I said, so that's going to be covered in the next few episodes. Um, so, so don't really worry about what that means yet. So this is basically just going to, um, well, so we're going to use a VBox layout manager. So VBox, make sure it's from JavaFX, blah, blah, blah. And we can call it whatever you want, but just to get the terminology in our mind, we're going to call it parent. You can also call it root parent or root because it's going to be the top layer um, node nothing can go over that only things can go under that um, you'll see what I mean by that in a second but we're going to call it parent and we're going to do new vbox okay and so what this is going to do is because it's going to create what's called a layout manager which is going to change or I mean control the way um, the components of our scene are laid out like how buttons are displayed like what but what position they have with each other you know so that's just what that's going to do I'll be explaining that in future episodes like I said two seconds ago and so now that's going to be the root node so we can simply do parrot right there as a parameter okay so we're just passing in the parent layout manager or node into our uh, parent node here for the parameter so there we go we got a scene and so once we have a scene with a node because it has to have a root node to start off with we can now set that scene to the stage so that the stage knows that it has a scene to you know to have right so stage dot set scene and then we can just pass in scene one just like that so now let's run this and see what we got see what happens and nothing happens really um, it's just a simple it's the same thing we had last time right when we ran this a second ago 
and that's because we have a layout manager and we have a parent node here set to the scene we have a scene created but what we have not done is added anything to the scene yet we have added a layout manager which is going to control how things are positioned but we have not added anything to be controlled right so there's many different things that you'll be able to add to a scene like t uh, labels which is going to be text that you can display on the screen or even buttons and pictures like I said so we're just going to start simple with a label so label label one uh, import label by the way from make sure it's from JavaFX don't forget that is equal to new label okay and inside of here we can just provide a simple text message uh, is text label just like that and so what this is going to be called since like I said before there's a hierarchy since this is the parent node this is going to be the child node because this child node is going to go under this parent node right because this parent node is going to control the position of this label here this is going to be um, under this one basically in the hierarchy that I'll be showing you in a second okay so that's how that works and so what we want to do now that we have this label here we can add it to our scene but before we can set that hierarchy up we need to actually add it we just created a label but it's not under anything yet so we need to do parent dot get children dot add and we're gonna add this node here as you can see if you do control P it's asking for a node a child node we can simply do label one and that's gonna be added to the parent so under the parent you're gonna have the label here and you can add as many as you want by the way and now we can run this and see what happens and what should happen is that we have this is a text label on the screen there we go so it says this is a text label and that's because, of course, we have created a scene here. We added the root node, which is usually a layout manager. And under that layout manager, we have a child node, which is going to be our component, or a component, which says this is a, ch a text label. It's a text node, okay? So that's how you do that. And if you if you want to add you know, another node or another component here, we could make another label if we want to. It doesn't have to be a label. Like I said, there's many different things you can add. So we can make a new one here. So label, um, another label, whatever you want to call it. And so if you want to add another one, you could simply do the same thing we did here and then instead add label two. Or if you want to add multiple at the same time, you could simply do add all and then pass in multiple. Label one, label two, just like that. So as you can see here, it's very flexible, very cool if you ask me. So let's try running this and it should display both of them now right um, above each other. Or like, There we go. So it says this is a text label and then right under that, um, this is a... And then right under that, it says another label because we added that second, so it's going to go right under that. And a, ver and a V box stands for vertical box because it labels things vertically. That's how they position each component. So um, the more components they add, it will add it under the, the last component, basically, okay? And like I said, we'll be exploring that in the future. Anyway, so hopefully this makes sense. You simply have a root node or a parent node, as you might call it sometimes which is going to be the base or the top level node for our scene here. And the scene requires that node to be able to function, okay? And then under that, which, is, and by the way, this is usually a layout manager, like I said, something that controls the position of other nodes, okay? And then under that um, base, and under that base layer um, layout node here, you're going to have other nodes or child nodes that are going to be the actual components that are displayed onto the screen. So the actual substance of the GUI, okay? And then after that, we can add it and everything like that, okay? So so if you're a little confused on what I mean by all that, I've said that multiple times, um, so it might still not make sense to you. So I can show you a picture here, and this is what's called the JavaFX scene graph. And the scene graph is basically a, a theoretical hierarchy. I don't think you could actually get a, vis a physical representation of it with an object in JavaFX, but... To me, it's a hierarchy here that we can um, imagine that is our, our scene, basically. Okay, it's called the scene graph. And so, like I said, we have the layout manager, the VBox that we created. That's going to be the root node at the very top. And this root node is what we passed into the scene when we created it, right? And then under that, you're going to have many different leaf nodes or child nodes, as you might call them, okay? Or wait, actually... These would all be child nodes, but some of them are leaves and some of their branches, right? And the ones that are branches are going to be the ones that have child nodes under those, right? Because only certain components can have child nodes under them, but some can ha cannot have that, okay? We'll see that in the future if you're a little confused on what that means. But anyway, the point is we have different, um, it's like a hierarchy here. So under the root, root node, you're going to have other nodes, okay? And then under those nodes, you can have other nodes. So it's just going to continue on and on, right? So this is just a theoretical thing. It's not actually physical, I believe. So here's an example, okay? So we have a VBox here, and then under that VBox we can have even more layout managers, right? Because let's see here, um, in our application here, we have different parts of our uh, stage, right? The whole window is a stage, right? But we have different things. We have a menu here. So this menu is likely going to have its own um, layout manager, maybe HBox or something like that, because it's going horizontally. And then here you're going to have your own layout manager, and then here you're going to have your own layout You get the point, right? 
So anyway, <laughs> hopefully that makes sense. And then under each of those um, child nodes, layout managers, whatever you want to call them, you have other child nodes. So label text area hbox, right? And then under that, you have another one, another one, right? You get the point, right? So it's just a big hierarchy that you can work with that allows you to have a scene in the scene. Um, that's just how you work with the scene, okay? And then here's a more simple one here. You have a group, and then you have a circle, a rectangle, and a region. And then a region can have a child node of text and image view and all that, okay? So I know I rambled on about that um, a bunch of times, but hopefully it's now in your brain and makes sense. But if you want any more information on how this works or anything like that, I'll leave this link in the description for you. This is what I, what I also use sometimes to understand some certain concepts for JavaFX, so I'll leave that for you. And um, so yeah, the last thing here is the scene mouse cursor. So if, so if we just go back here to our application, we can uh, mess with the, the mouse cursor whenever you're working with the scene. So we can simply do scene one dot set mouse cursor. Wait, what was it? Mouse cursor, cursor? Yeah, set cursor, there we go. And we can simply do cursor dot and then we have these different options here. So we can basically change what happens to our mouse cursor whenever we hover over the scene, right? So we could do hand, move, crosshair. So let's try crosshair, crosshair, see what that looks like here. Boom, so as you can see here, we have a crosshair now, and that's only whenever we hover over the scene, right? If we go off the scene, it's gonna be regular, right? But as soon as we go onto the scene, it's gonna be a crosshair. And then if we go off, boom, it's something else, right? So that's pretty cool, right? Um, just an example of how you might use that is, um, as you can see here right now, it's this little weird cursor here. I don't know what you would call this, but that's only when we hover, hover over the text editor here, right? But when we go over here, it's going to be the regular one, right? If we go over here, it's something else, or it's the same, but it's not this one, right? So it only depends on what scene you're hovering over that you want to change it, the cursor, okay? So yeah, I know all of that might have been a little confusing, but hopefully I'm, it made sense with the pictures I showed you. You just have this what's called the scene graph here, which is going to represent our scene. And then under that, you have a bunch of different nodes and child nodes and all that stuff. Okay. So don't worry, we'll get more practice in the future episodes. Next episode, we actually work with, you know, the different child nodes that we can add to a scene. So hopefully you're excited for that. But if you have any more questions about what I showed you today, you can ask in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. Um, but, but what I would rather you do is join our discord. We have a discord server with about, I think 300 people now. It's a lot of people in there. And a lot of them will help you if you have any troubles. I'll help you if, I, if I'm on, of course. And uh, so make sure you join that. The link is in the description for you if you can join our Discord server. And then finally, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description also. So make sure you click the link and then bookmark it for future use in case you forget how to work with the scene or the scene graph model, anything like that, okay? So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.